Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how I changed the front engine mount on this 2011 Chevy Equinox. You can see that new mount down there. That's where it's located. I'll show you how I was able to remove the old one and I removed it bringing it up through the top right here. So a little bit of a process and it's about like fitting a square peg through a round hole. But we were able to do it. Stay tuned to see how I was able to pull that off. First we'll take a look at the new mount. That way you can see where the bolts are and then we'll go under and I'll show you where everything is and my plan on how to get it out. So here is the mount. This is the orientation. It will attach to the front of the engine block just like this. The bolts that hold it to the block are 15 millimeter and there's four of them and then the bolt that runs through here is an 18 millimeter. We'll take a look from the top and see if you can see the top ones. Right there you can see the one on the top left and from here you can't see the one on the top right but we'll see it from underneath. Alright so there's the top right and here that is the 18 millimeter and then under this cross member you can see these two bolts and like I said these are 15 millimeter so at this point I've got all four of these loose and now we are just going to take out the 18 millimeter right here is pretty decent access it's between the lower radiator hose and the frame and I'm gonna try and go up through there with a long extension here you can see we've got the 18 millimeter and then we have two six inch extensions and we have just enough room to get a ratchet on here and we're going to break it loose. You can see also I do have a jack with a piece of wood holding this so the engine should not drop. Well, I'm going to see what it takes to get this out of here. All right. I'll come back once I have a plan. So my plan is to get it up from this side and to get it over the mount and still drop it back down through the bottom. I'm not sure if that's going to work, but it's my plan. Here's a little update. I have got the mount pushed up and twisted to the side. I'm going to try to get the camera to, to get this birthing process, if you will. Um, all right. So at this point, <clears throat> I'm going to try to get it turned 90, and we might be able to pull it straight up out of here.
Okay, well, we got it up out of there. Now, there might be an easier way to do this. Um, if there is, I'm not sure what it is, but we're going to shoehorn the new one through that hole. Here you can see the new one beside the old one. I bought a full kit, so I'm doing every motor mount on here. I have a little bit of a clunk when I come to a stop and take off. I believe it is uh, one of these mounts, but I'm going to make separate videos for each one in case you guys uh, just need to change one. We're going to get this new one in. And I did unhook the oxygen sensor just because it allowed me to get a little more movement up here. Okay, we'll go down to the bottom and see if I can get it to get into place. in place so we are going to start putting bolts in all right now let's look at the bottom before I tighten the bolts down I do want to get this bolt through the mount Right, I'm going to go ahead and run the bolts in and see if that helps us line up. Uh, I'm just going to I guess do that real quick. That was just a plastic clip that got stuck between the mount and the block. So, switching back to shorty. Run all these top ones back in. That may have been the reason they weren't lining up. Yes, that's helpful. Oh yeah. Perfect. Alright, so now I'm just going to put this 18 millimeter back in. Then I'm going to tighten up these bolts. 
I will get a torque spec if I can find it and we'll be done. We're getting ready to torque the through bolt and we've got the torque wrench set at 43 foot pounds per the manual. Yep, that was a finger. Okay. So now we're going to switch it over to 66 foot pounds and tighten the bolts that hold the mount to the engine block. Okay, that one we're going to have to guess on. All right. We'll go up to the top. So this is the top right bolt. So in order to get that mount out, this front mount, it's going to be easier if you take the engine cover off. I was able to actually get that up through here. I did unhook the oxygen sensor wire and then just wedged up through there so that's one thing you'll want to do that i didn't do in the beginning is get this cover off now that we have this front engine mount changed we've got three more and there will be three more videos on doing that so if this is a project you need to do on your equinox and it is the 3.0 and i believe the 3.0 and the 3.6 are going to be the same there's a possibility they're not but this is the 3.0 2011 v6 thanks for watching if you have any questions put them in the comments below i'd be happy to answer them <laughs>